launched in the year 2014, musically exploded to the top of the App Store charts just in a year. It has not fallen below rank 40 since then. Often, it's swapping top places in the App Store with Snapchat and Instagram. In the year 2016, the estimated value of Musical.ly was around $500 million and reaching 90 million downloads in the same year. But that's what we see. The success is just the tip of the iceberg. Before launching Musical.ly, Alex Zhu and Lu Yu Yang teamed up to build an educational app which eventually became a big failure and left them nearly stranded. So how did failed education startup turn into the million dollar app? That's the story of Musical.ly we are going to see in this episode of the Info Doodles. Support us by subscribing to our channel and also get the notification on our future videos. Born in China, Alex Zhu completed his graduation in the field of civil engineering from Zhejiang University in the year 2000. After working in China for a year, he then left to the US to work for a company called SAP. This is when Alex Zhu got interested in education. He came up with an idea for creating an app which would allow users to create short educational videos and share them on the same platform. He thought that it was a billion dollar idea. Alex Zhu then partnered with his longtime friend Liu Yang and raised $250,000 from venture capitalists. They formed a team in China and spent six months building an app called Cicada. Zhu once said, The day we released this application to the market, we realized it was never going to take off. It was doomed to be a failure. Yes, the app crashed to failure because of various reasons. The videos took too long to create. Many experts found it difficult to explain their concepts in a short time. Most importantly, it didn't attract teens. By this time, they've already spent 92% of the money raised. With only 8% remaining, the team had to come up with something that would work. One day while traveling in a train in Mountain View, Alex Zhu watched a group of boisterous young teens. Half of the teens were listening to music, while the other half took selfies or videos, covered them in stickers, and then shared the results with their friends. That was the moment of enlightenment for him. The real million dollar idea sparked on his head. Zhu realized he could combine music, videos, and a social network to attract the early teen demographic. So he turned to his team in China to bring his idea to an app in just 30 days. The first version of Musical.ly got launched in July 2014. The app allowed users to sing an a cappella or lip sync along to its library of sound clips, which ranged from pop songs to comedy dialogue and even the voices of other users. The team got very excited as around 500 people were downloading it a day, but more importantly, they kept coming back. For the next 10 months, the app kept growing, but it was too slow to save the company. The team got nervous as the funds were running too low and quick. They didn't know if it would take off or not. For every problem, there is a solution that is simple and neat. They had realized that when people shared the music videos, the logo was cropped out on Instagram and Twitter. So in April 2015, the company made a few small design tweaks to the app, including moving the logo in the videos. Kaboom! It exploded. Two months later, on July the 6th, it hit the number one app in the iTunes App Store, becoming the most downloaded free app in over 30 countries, including the US, Canada, UK, Germany, Brazil, Philippines, and Japan. As of July 2016, Musical.ly has over 90 million registered users and an average 12 million new videos posted every day. By the end of May 2017, the app reached over 200 million users. It was always a dream for Alex Zhu to create an app in China that will become popular throughout the world, especially in the US. Musical.ly is also one of the few apps to come out of China to become a smash hit in the US. This tale tells us a lot. There are great ideas out there. All you need is to watch for it and importantly be persistent even in failures. Share your thoughts in the comments and suggest what you would like to see in our next video. Leave us thumbs up if you like this video. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for videos on facts, science and history.